Today we're going to do a review and comparison of the HANA Salinity Checker. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dude. So today we're doing a bit of an unboxing. I've had a ton of people ask me to do a review, a comparison on the HANA Salinity Checker. Um, now it took me a while to get one because I honestly already had two. But enough people asked at Reef of Palooza, I picked one up and we're going to finally do a bit of a comparison. Uh, now to kind of set a level playing field, I did a 30 PPT solution, a 35 NRODI water. Um, I recalibrated the HANA with 35 and I calibrated the these two with 30. So I used the same pool of water and I verified that all with a good old fashioned refractor meter. And this is also recently calibrated. So it gives us kind of a bit of a level playing field. But first, let's take a bit of a look at the HANA and see how it works. So when we pull off the cap, um, it protects everything nicely. If we look at the side of it, we've got our temperature probe. And if we look down the middle, those are our two conductivity probes. Uh, now what makes the HANA one a bit different is they use graphite. Uh, so a few advantages to this is less likely to corrode or other issues. Um, if we look at the back, we've got our battery door. Now when you first turn it on, it does a bit of a battery test, so our battery's at 100%, um, and now it's ready to use. Now, to calibrate it, we would hold the calibration button for a few seconds. It would say cal, and you put it into your calibration packet, wait a few seconds, and it auto-detects it and calibrates itself. Super quick and easy calibration. So it does come with four calibration packs. It does recommend to do it monthly. Um, I did mine last week, so I'm not going to bother doing it again today. Um, but the procedure is turn it on, hold the calibration button for a few seconds, it'll say calibration. Um, you'll put it in your package and it detects it automatically, it starts the calibration, says it records it and stores it, and you're done. So super quick and easy. So when you first turn it on, at the top you got your temperature and you got your salinity reading. So it's currently in PPT. Um, that is the default PPT in Celsius. If you want to change it, if you flip it over you can open the battery door. Now, when you pop it out, you will notice that little rubber ring. So it does have an O-ring, this what keeps it waterproof. So if you are messing around with it, just make sure that's clean, you don't have any dust or dirt on it. Now, right beside the lock sign, there is a little tiny button. If we click that, we can hear the click, and we can pick our different parameters. So unit PPT, uh, PSU, or specific gravity. Um, I've actually started to use PPT lately, so I'm just going to leave that one there. Uh, if we hit the power button, it will go to the next menu. So you can set your temperature, so you can do Celsius or Fahrenheit. I'll leave it on Celsius for now. Uh, your auto off, so you want to turn off after 8 minutes or 60 minutes, or don't turn off. I like 8 minutes, it's just a nice time to prevent any battery issues, and you're done. So quick and easy menu system. And we'll lock our cover back on, and we're back in business. Alright, so first test, we put it in RODI water, and we got zero PPT. Perfect, exactly what we'd expect. Next, we'll try our 30 PPT solution. A couple seconds, and I get a reading of 29.8, so 29.9, 29 .9, and it settled on 30.1. So 30.1 is our salinity. Oh, 30.2. So within 0 0.1, 0 0.2, give it a quick rinse in our ODI so we don't cross contaminate. And we'll put in our 35 PPT solution. Give it a couple seconds to stabilize. And this is sitting at 35.1. So within about 0.1 on both, so that's right within the margin of error. And so far it's looking pretty good. Um, super quick and easy to use. One of the best features for me is the fact that it is waterproof. Drop it in your tank. Your water doesn't really matter. At uh, one of the Reef of Clues Orlando, I believe it was, uh, the saltwater aquarium guys have them just floating around their display tank the whole show. And it, it was actually one of the original things that kind of drew me and wanted me to check this one out, was just seeing that it's waterproof and floating around. Now, I have been asked a bazillion times on how this compares to other meters. Um, so I also have the Poseidon Salinity Pen. Um, same with this one. So we pop it into, so we got zero PPT, just as we'd expect. Uh, if we pop it in the 30 solution, it is reading 29 PPT. Um, so one difference I just noticed off the bat 
This is showing 29 PPT. I think that one was 30.1. You get an extra digit of resolution. So you get that point whatever afterwards. So it is a slightly more precise in the reading where this one likely around. So this one settled on 35, 36 is bouncing back and forth between 35 and 36. So it is going to use some form of a rounding on it on the Poseidon. And next we got the Psionic. Now the Psionic is very similar to the Max Cap. Um, they look almost identical. I believe this one is a version two and the version one would be the Max Spec. They may have updated by now. Um, I don't have one, so I can't confirm. But the biggest difference with at least this one is you can calibrate it. And I've heard rumors that you might be able to do that on the new Max Cap one. All right, so we had zero for our ODI. Uh, so we're getting 1.023. And if I go to specific gravity, that's 29.9. So that's pretty much right on. Now, quick rinse, put in our 35. Now this one is reading 1.027, and this is reading 35.5. So it's about, and I think the Hannah said 35.1, was it? So we got all three pens in the 35 PPT. Hannah comes out at 35.1. We have 36 PPT on the Poseidon and 35.5 on the Psionic. I'll give these all three a rinse and we'll try them next into the 30 PPT. Now Hannah's reading 30 PPT on the dot, the Poseidon's 30 on the dot, and the Psionic is 29.9, so they're all pretty close. Now the one slight thing to consider is the Poseidon and Psionic calibrate at 30 PPT, where the HANA calibrates at 35 PPT. Now they're always going to be most accurate to where you calibrate them to. So these two were basically right on with the 30, but there was a slight deviance of 35, and that could be because of that calibration range. So something to consider. But now one other test just for fun I wanted to see is how well they both work with temperature compensation. So let's take some of our 30 PPT and throw it in the fridge for a few minutes to cool it down. And then we'll see how they kind of compare. So while it's in the fridge, uh, the one cool thing with the Poseidon is you can just kind of click through all your different menus to see all your different readings. You can do it all from the one screen. It has three buttons. Uh, the Psionic, it's only one button to cycle it. Uh, the one big thing that I like about this guy is it has a light up screen. So if you poke it in, Wait a few seconds. Okay, so we got our reading. We can click through it, the different readings. I've got our temperature, but the screen lights up, which is really nice. If you're in a little room, checking the bottom of your brute, it lights up, it's really cool. Now you also have to click to get through all the different screens. Now the HANA, it tells you your temperature and your salinity reading all on one screen, which is nice. So there's no button pushing, it's all there. The only one slight downfall, if you wanted to convert to Celsius or Fahrenheit or specific gravity, to your PPT, you'd have to pop off the battery cover and change your settings. So if for whatever reason you want to convert that, it's a little more of a pain, but I find most people just pick one setting and then just leave it there. So it's not a huge issue. All right, so we had this guy in the freezer for about four or five minutes, so it will cool it down quite a bit. Now let's do a bit of a comparison and we'll see how well the two act together. So first we'll start out with our 30 PPT at more room temperature. So this one's saying 23.4 degrees, and we got 30.1, 29.9, and all right, 29, there we go. Now, let's move them all over to the same water, but cool, cool down. All right, temperature-wise, HANA 21.1, 21.4 on the Poseidon, and I believe it was just over 21 on the Psionic. I already scrolled past it. If I go to my PPT, I'm still getting 29. Uh, 30.03 and 29.4. So a slight deviation. Uh, Poseidon's about point, or the Psionic's about 0.6 off. Uh, this one says 29, so it could be about, is likely just rounding, so that one could be half a point off, and the Hannah's about 0 0.03 higher compared to that. All right, guys, so what's kind of the summary of all this? Um, starting off the Poseidon, it doesn't have as high of a resolution, so it tells you a whole number, so a 29 or 30 PPT. So it will round up or down to an extent. Uh, the Psionic does give you the point ones. Um, it wasn't too far, it had a slight bigger variation than the HANA. Um, the one big advantage of this one is I love that the screen lights up. I really wish the HANA went with that option. 
um, button out of the HANA, but you also have to cycle through each button to see the different readings. The HANA will tell you your salinity and your temperature on the same screen, which is nice. Um, it did seem the tolerances were a bit tighter, so I would say this one's a little more precise than the other two. And of course, overall, it's waterproof, which I find is a huge plus. You can drop it in, you don't have to worry about it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is kind of like Reef Dudes Investigate series. Um, if you guys did enjoy this, you want me to dig into more, as always, smash that like button or just lightly click it, you know, me the works. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video.